Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of the congressional interns who serve in our offices here in Washington, D.C., in my state of Oregon, and around the country, and to ask all of my colleagues to make internship opportunities available to more qualified applicants by paying interns for their work. Congressional internships are highly desirable. They provide students and recent graduates with valuable experience learning firsthand how Congress and how our government works. Many current staff members, and in fact, many members of Congress, started their careers as congressional interns and were able to use the skills they learned, connections they made to leverage future opportunities. The reality is, however, that most young people do not have the option of coming to work on Capitol Hill as an internship, intern because most internships are still unpaid. Many bright and motivated people simply cannot afford to take an unpaid internship, no matter how prestigious it might be, because they need to earn money to continue paying for college or to support themselves or their families. No one who is qualified who wants to intern on Capitol Hill should be precluded because of financial barriers. I'm proud that I offer paid internships in my office so students and recent graduates have an opportunity to work and learn and gain experience. But paying interns doesn't just help them, it helps us too. My staff and I benefit greatly from having interns from all backgrounds and all walks of life working in our office. The diversity of perspectives is critical as I consider legislation and think about how to best serve my constituents who are also from diverse backgrounds and all walks of life. Many of my colleagues understand the importance of equitable intern opportunities and through the leadership of Representative Tim Ryan and others are working to increase funding and cut red tape so that all of our offices will be able to offer and support paid internships. Capitol Hill is best served when our offices reflect the diversity of our districts and our country. I will continue to work with my colleagues to make sure that all qualified applicants can apply for internships and serve as interns regardless of their financial situation. It helps our offices, it helps the interns, and it helps the country. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the balance.